Hello, Professor Bright here, taking a glance at Death Road to Canada. Because, I mean, with a name like that, how could I resist? Now, I have played the tutorials of this game, and it's a little bit peculiar. Basically, you're trying to transport a bunch of, uh, delightful people, kinda stupid, all the way to Canada, because, as you can tell from the background there, zombies happened. And as this thing will explain, uh, yeah, Canada, apparently safe from zombies. They're just not capable of zombifying in Canada, obviously. And we're going all the way from Florida, which, as far as I'm concerned, terrible choice. But, you know what? Why not? And, yeah, it plays out kind of like uh, Oregon Trail, in that you have different events that occur, and occasionally, well, you go into this little uh, raiding status or raiding event kind of thing. And you can choose which one you actually want to use as the leader, follower, and you could, in theory, have them rest, but I mean, why would I do that? And each of your characters has these little traits, perks, and stats in the background that you find out through uh, events and through horrible things that you do to them. Or rather, have them do to others. Now, as for combat in these little raiding sections, there is some. Fortunately, my guy is a martial artist, so I don't actually need anything. I just have my fists, and I can punch these zombies to death. And it is beautiful. And you're pretty much just going through these rooms, getting the supplies you need in order to get back onto the road. Ideally, the goal is to actually survive and make it to Canada. Will we actually make it to Canada? Probably not, because, well, these guys are, as I said, kinda assholes, kinda stupid. You know, just a little bit. Of course, I'm just punching these guys to death with my bare hands, just because I'm so strong. But, uh, well, that's not gonna last forever, because I've got a little bit of a stamina problem, you see. There's stamina in this game. It's a serious problem for me. Fortunately, I got a partner here who's basically a spare life, essentially. Also, she occasionally will help me with, uh, you know, killing the zombies. But, uh, really? Yeah, she's just there to provide me extra blood. An emergency escape for when this delightful fellow dies. Ooh, kitchen knife. Uh, no, actually inferior to my fists of fury. Hmm. Yes, yes, I'm aware. Thank you. So, wherever the little glow is, there's either a place you haven't explored, or loot. Also, you can pick up some furniture and either toss it or just smash it on top of things like so. Yeah. And now he's dead. Properly dead. Ooh. Lovely. And nothing here. Well, moving along. Luckily, early on, so I don't really have anything in the way of uh, real threats to deal with. Not too many zombies and, oh, everything is looking great for me. You guys out of the way. Got something. Oh, yep, yeah, you're, uh, you're rather hideous looking, and I'm just gonna leave that place entirely. Bye. Nope. Nope. Also, no. Goodbye. We are leaving. Thank ya. Got myself some food, fuel, meds, and ammo. Lovely. Now, usually there's an event after that. Here we go. Uh, no, we just ate food. Okay, never mind. Lila, you're taking up a lot of, uh, actual food. Also, something about brooding about a tragic past? Uh, yeah, it goes a little bit quickly, you see. Um, I mean... Supply shop. Why not? And then we got these sequences. Yep. Well, you're basically picking where you want to raid, and then... You are trying to survive all the zombies and get useful stuff, in theory. Never mind, this is not useful. I don't want that in my life at all. Can I toss it? Can I please just drop it? Drop it. Drop the fishing pole, man. Just drop it. Rusty machete? Probably not as good. Sturdy machete? Probably better. Ooh, yes. Yes. This is more my style. Oh, I can drop things. Great. You stole my... Mm, not happy about that. That's fine. I have kung fu to defend myself with. You instead get my good machete. Which would have been nice to have, but no, no, it's fine, really. Honestly. It's all good. 
This is just junk in the way of me getting into that house. And there is pretty much nothing in this little sequence, at least not that I'm noticing. Yeah, just a bunch of blocked houses in that little depot. Huh. Overall, fairly disappointing start. Gotta say, problem with the game is these sequences not actually that exciting, really. It's just I'm going into the rooms, punch these guys out of the way, because I'm a martial artist. In theory, I'd be swinging a club like her, but, you know, why do that when I can just, you know, punch him to death, really? And then we're going to move on, because, I mean, there's really probably nothing in here, and I want to see some actually interesting things. Because the game actually is pretty good. The problem I have with it is that, well, this is kind of, you know, not exactly the most exciting of things. This little combat system it's got going on. I get why it's there. It's to injure your people and, you know, cause you some trouble. But more interesting are the little events. Like this. Suddenly, a giant fissure erupts across the road ahead. It's big. Super big. The asphalt buckles on either side, making for a pretty sick ramp. And of course, we're gonna gun it. Delilah grabs the wheel and pounds the gas pedal. The car bolts forward, ripping a howling screech into the sky. Morale increases. <laughs> oh dear. The car barely makes it, but sinks like an anvil and smashes into the ground. Chunks of the car fly in various directions. Took a beating, but it's still running. Won't be for very long. That's generally not how vehicles work out. Uh, what's happening? Chassis is down. You see the little pips? We have two points of chassis left on this car before it, uh, dies on us. So, yeah. That's upsetting. Well, pity about decreased morale, but, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, one of these is going to need to die so we can save some food. Hmm. Kurt crawls into the tank. That seems like a terrible choice. Why not? And he collected gas and became more fit. Wonderful. Now our only problem is actually food. Sports sticks like bats and golf clubs are great until they break. Well, thank you. Yeah, we don't have enough food to actually, you know, trade food away. Car's not going to last forever. It's going to be fine. We got 170 things of fuel. <gasps> oh, look, a little corgi looking dog. Feed the dog two cans of food. Absolutely. Group lures Ronald over with food. He knows a good source of meals when he sees it and decides to stick around. Yeah, I got a doggy. Aww. I like dogs. What can I say? Ronald's a dog. Dogs used to be pets, but now most are feral. He can have medical skill. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Canned food's better when you heat up. Obviously. Oh, there are sieges. This is a new thing for me. Um, wow. Ooh, 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 boy. Okay. Well, well, I assume I just kill all of them. It said siege, but I don't know how long I have to last or any details thereof. Doggy, stay safe. Try not to, you know, die. Oh. Oh, is the deal that I just, you know, grab as much stuff as possible? Look, I honestly have no idea what the deal is with this place, so I'm just gonna kind of roll with it. Don't know what the deal is. Don't know what we're doing, how we do it. These are things I do not understand, but okay. Okay, yep. Siege, I see that. What does it mean? Game, explain yourself a little bit, please. Uh, can I get anything in terms of, like, an explanation? Oh, okay, cool. So it's just, you're in danger, you have to try to survive the danger and then escape. Yeah, let's hit the road. Right for food! And ammo. A lot of ammo. Great stuff if I had a gun, which I don't. And Ronald's still good. Aww. Well, 
Morale and random skill gain. Extra fitness for Ronald. I mean, sure. Hooray, his fitness has increased from terrible to terrible. Uh, sure. Why not? We are doing fantastically. Delilah, you plan out tomorrow. Why not? Yay! Your morale is just ecstatic. Wonderful. I don't know what the effect of any of these things are. Like, I don't know what this is doing in any way. Car repair and tune-up. Why not? Cool. Apparently you are not good at mechanical things. Great. Good. Thank you. Wonderful. Well, we're gonna find out what happens if everybody starves to death. Hmm. Why not, Carol? We're all gonna starve together. Or eat you. Everything I play seems to have cannibalism in it. Uh. Oh. Yeah. They could be saved. I mean... Why not? He's a little doggy. Aw. That's adorable. Anyway. Let's see here. You don't need this. That can be Carol's secondary weapon. Oh. No, no. See. I have Kung Fu. You see. So I don't need that. Carol, enjoy the knife. Okay. Punch them. Punch them with your fits of fury. And really, the combat? Pretty simple. Just square. And not square. X. Look, I'm used to the PS4 controller. Eh. Alright. Yep. Yep, this is gonna go poorly for some of us. Well, there I go. Well. So, Ronald, you're in charge now. I am a dog. Yes, dog fighting zombies. The most fit dog fighting zombies here. Yeah, don't care about the humans. I'm wondering if I can actually drive the car without them. I want to find out. I want to find out. Carol, I don't care about you particularly, so I'm just going to kind of run around. Hey, I can try to escape. Great. I'm good. Oh, she's dead as well? Oh, okay. Well, gonna survive as the dog. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, I, that shouldn't work. With no one left to drive the car, the journey to Canada is at an end. Oh wait, there's still a dog alive. Ronald thinks of one word in his primitive animal mind. Canada. Ronald gets the keys, puts them in the car condition, and starts it up. Onward to Canada. As a dog. Oh, this is just lovely. Ronald camps in a sturdy building. Seems to be an old repair shop. Tinker. Yes. <laughs> Ronald spends all night taking stuff apart and putting them back together. It's very noisy. Ronald will be very tired tomorrow. I am a mechanical dog. I'm a mechanic dog. Just wonderful. Ronald cauterizes it. Yes, the dog has mastered fire. Oh, uh, yep. This seems like a great plan. I just... Car's broken down from use and abuse, won't start up again. You know what? As the dog mechanic, let's go for it. Ah. Well. Hooray! We caught a catfish as a dog, may I remind you. Um, this is insane, and I kind of love it. 
this... I didn't know this was possible. And I get a muscle car now. Yes. Start it up. There's a little corgi looking thing. Oh. Nope. You're on your own, kid. Could do that. Sure, why not? We'll attempt to rescue them. Can I... I can have a wrench. Oh, this is... This, you know what? I was saying some things that were like, you know... Oh, it's okay. It's a good game. But, you know, this really makes the game for me. Hey, guy. Jama, you really want to get out of here? Come on, follow me. Yeah. Good. Come on out here. I am a dog with a wrench, and it is wonderful. Everything about this is wonderful. Okay, you know what? You guys are just going to have to... Human, do the work for me. Come on. Combat? Uh... Ooh, I don't really care. You're fighting, though. Yeah, go ahead. Fight him. Okay. Yep, we are probably going to get overwhelmed here. I'm going to go down this way, though. Yes, perfect. Aha! Success! I am a small dog leaving that human to die, and I don't really care. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. This is the most adorable animation in the world. Oh my god, it's... This is too cute. It really is. I think the human's dead. Don't care. Okay, nope. Dead end there. I wonder if I have any... I have medical supplies. Can I heal myself after this? Nope. Nope, I would rather you did not, sir. Sorry, I would prefer you did not. Nope. Again, no. Okay, keep running, keep on running, keep on running, 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 running. Man, these sewer levels are long. Sewer levels, the worst thing mankind's ever created. I need to get up there. No, help! I'm dead. Aww. Poor little doggy. You've died on the death road to Canada. Well, it is a death road. I suppose that was to be expected. Still, I had fun with this. I actually like it more right now than I did a few moments ago before we did this episode. I played the tutorial, thought it was, oh, well, this is kind of not really my thing. But you know what? Having a dog drive a muscle car and walking on two legs, fighting off zombies with a wrench, kind of sold me on the game. It's a little bit wacky, so if you're looking for a serious, you know, Oregon Trail through zombies, not your game, really, but uh, there's Oregon Trail, you know, other games like that. This one's just the right level of weird for me. I think I'm going to play more, but for now... Thank you for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly. And I will see you all soon.